Darren, um, a win um, against Adelton Coles this afternoon. What were your overall thoughts on that one? I thought we were excellent, to be honest. Um, from minute one, I thought we were really, really good. I think you can see the relationships between the players building, the patterns of play. It was, you know, Tim works on it in training, and um, the first two goals were evidence of that. He couldn't have asked any more. Everything he's worked on in training was just there to see in the first two goals. Probably a little bit disappointed with the goal. I think we should have we had a couple of opportunities to get rid of the ball, to clear the danger, and we didn't do that. So I think there'll be a bit of disappointment about that. Um, but yeah, it was a good test. Good test against a team in the league above, and I thought we, were, thought we were excellent. Really, really good. You mentioned the test there. Obviously, a number of absentees this afternoon due to, to various reasons. So that the 15 players, including the, the two trialists that you, you had um, in the squad, uh, or three trialists rather, in the squad this afternoon, that... Um, it was, a, it was a tough afternoon for them, sort of minutes-wise, because a lot of them had to sort of go through and play the 90. Yeah, so I, I think there was a couple of late players pulled out quite late, so preparation changed a little bit, but it has given other lads more minutes than they've been used to, which is good because they've got more minutes you know, in the legs today. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just shows the quality within the squad. You think of the players we had missing today <laughs> to come back in. Um, the gaffer's going to have some big decisions to make, at, at, you know, rather him than me, really. And obviously, um, within your role as as the opposition scout at the club, um, you probably do a lot of the work that helps Dave and Tim prepare for, for the upcoming um, league games. Obviously, in pre-season, I guess you, you don't do that same level of research. So, so how have you been supporting the management during, uh, during pre-season? So, I mean, last night I was out watching a game and this morning I was out watching a game before I came here um, against two sides that we got early on in the season, just having a first look. It is more difficult during pre-season, it is, because they, those teams have trial lists, they might be trying different systems. But we do come in with a knowledge of the league last season and those teams, you know, even getting to know how managers like to play and set up is important. But yeah, over the summer, plenty of conversations with Macker and Tim around, you know, recruitment side of it as well. Obviously, when you're out watching a lot of games, you see the players. So, you know, get, get a bit of input in that, really. Um, but, yeah, now the season's, well, what, two weeks today, aren't we? So, in terms of my role, it'll really be increasing now. I'll be getting out, watching more and more of the games and uh, pulling the reports together. Um, so, the first game's two weeks today. So, we'll probably have the report on our first opponents with the management team on the Monday before that game. And it'll go out to the players on the Friday. And as ever, you know, what we talk about, we're just looking for the 1%. The 1% that we hope will get us where we want to be at the end of the season. And obviously, without going into too much detail, sort of about the the, the sort of reports you, you give to the players, um, sort of just to, to give a bit of background to the fans, how long does it take you and the, the management to to put those together to to be able to obviously discuss it as a management team first, and then to, to hand it out to the players later on in the in the week? So yeah, it, I mean, it can depend on the team. If I, you know, I might have seen a team quite a few times, so it's a bit easier then to pull it together if we've got more knowledge of them. Um, if it's a side, so the, the promoted sides, for instance, this season, we might know a few of the players, but, but we, we might not know how they play, how they set up. So there's two sides to it. It's how the team play and it's, you know, individual players as well. And in terms of, you know, I usually try and get that report over to the management team on Monday in case it impacts any training. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it won't. And then on Friday that goes out and we understand that the players will read that report um, to different levels. It's up to them to take responsibility for that. Um, and then come, come match day, it's all about us then. But, but if that report's gone out, it gives us a bit of preparation. But once the gaffer gets them in the changing room, it, it becomes about us. But again, if there's little bits that we've seen that can help in that report, that can make a difference, then, then that's what it's about. And obviously, in your role, you, you don't really get to see too many of um, Barry's own games, because obviously you're out on Saturdays watching various um, different games I've heard you listen to the commentary so uh, yeah, I do, I do, yeah. uh, but I guess uh, it's as important role as others in the management team to, to get what you need on on the opposition going uh, going forward yeah it's a bit different and listen sometimes uh, you, you do feel like you'd rather be at the game especially when it's a big one having said that when it is a really big game we, we, and it's later on in the season I planned and I've seen the teams and Mac will say no I want you with us today you know and I, and I appreciate that and it's great to be around it um, but yeah I, you know I'm watching two or three games a week. I do listen to the commentary. Um, sometimes I look a bit odd when there's nothing going on in the game and I'm cheering or, or you know, it, punching the wall or something because there's been a goal in our game. It looks a bit odd. But yeah, I do listen to the commentary. Um, but yeah, that's my role. That's my role at the club. That's why I'm here. Um, it's a privilege to be here. And, you know, I fully understand my job is to go out and get those snippets of information that hopefully, you know, come the end of the season, I'll be with the lads, uh, hopefully celebrating a good season.
Well, you mentioned that the season there. Um, for you personally, uh, what are you sort of looking forward to this season? Is a specific game, a specific moment, or just sort of just looking to enjoy enjoy it generally? I, I think getting back to gig on the new pitch. I think that's going to be a big occasion. Um, obviously, we've got a new squad uh, by three players, I think, and we talk about what gigs like, what the atmosphere is like, but the, you can't appreciate it until you've done it. Um, so I think I'm excited for them. I'm excited for when they get to experience that three and a half, four thousand people, um, and you know the first goal that goes in and hearing the noise because it is something else. So I think that that and then hopefully you know come the end of the season not having to go through the playoff experience and um, yeah. That would be nice and um, achieving our goals. We know it's going to be tough, though. Um, it's going to be really tough. The league is is demanding. It's really demanding, and we know that from last season. But hopefully, we've learned a lot of lessons. Perfect. Cheers, Darren. Thank you.